market to crash and burn, market to crash and burn, market to crash and burn. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Quick Tip Tuesday. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Vincent Lim. I'm with Vance, the Experts Real Estate Group. With the Quick Tip Tuesday, every Tuesday, I will share anything real estate related under two minutes. So today I'm gonna really be um, just kind of, it's a tip and a slash sharing my opinion about you know what what's happening with the news with uh in terms of uh with clients uh with talking with clients headlines about cmhc with 18 25 down forecasts of what the real estate market would be you know are we heading into a recession are, are the prices going to go down are sales going to go down i'm going to touch all all of that right now so let's hit the clock let's get this under two minutes really quickly um are we yeah are we what what, what is happening what's going on uh it's funny how uh, I'm hearing these comments, uh, especially on my YouTube channel. It's funny, like people are saying, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, Canada, we're going to recession, Vancouver, we're going to recession. And these are people are, you know, um, okay, before I get into all that, everybody that is not in the market, you know, they're just looking at news, they're bitter, they're saying that they just want the market to crash and burn, market to crash and burn, market to crash and burn. They just want the prices to tank. You know, it's just like, you know, they're so bitter, they're so uh, negative about it. But, and it's fine to be bitter, it's fine to be negative, that is fine, that is your opinion. For me, I'm, my opinion always comes from, am I looking at the market daily? What is the market trend? CMHC says there's a forecast that's going down 18, 25%. Great, that, those are news, those are forecasts. You know, if everybody has a crystal ball looking, you know, everybody would be rich, everybody would know when, you know, when um, the market is gonna crash, when a pandemic will happen. We would, we would all be fortune tellers. We will be able to know and we will be, be safe. We'll become very rich and you know, the world will be a better place that way. But unfortunately, that is not the case. We don't have the crystal ball. We have no idea what's gonna happen come fall. We have no idea what's gonna come four months later in the real estate market. But what I know is, at the end of the day, these people are making these forecasts and predictions. What I'm seeing in a day-to-day basis, sales are still happening every single day. There are a ton of buyers out there. There's still buyers that are probably still sitting in the fence. Inventory still remains low. Good properties are picking up. Price well properties are going multiple offers. The properties that you still still sitting there, they're probably overpriced. There's probably something wrong with the property. There's there's probably something that is, you know, in the area that is not making the it's not reflecting on the price. That's why the property is not moving. I really, I really believe that you know, if you're buying in the right location, if you're selling in the right location, those things at the end, the location always wins. They're always going to move. So, besides all that, you know, at the end of the day, this is this this is the thing. If you're not in the market, if you're not looking at day to day, if you're not having that conversation with your realtor or you know people that are doing the sales or doing the showing, they will tell you what the really the market is like currently right now. If you ask them what their, their prediction is. They will be lying if it says it's going to go skyrocketing. They will be lying if it says, yeah, for sure we're going to go down to 15, 28%. We don't know. You know, that's the bottom line is nobody knows. Not even the news outlet, not even the economists or analysts. They don't know. They can only make very calculated predictions with what's going on. So that is my opinion. But the tip for uh, if you're a home seller right now, if you're thinking about selling your home, this might be a good time to, to look because the market, there are buyers out there. And of course, depending on your price, depending on your location, but if you need to move for a certain reason, for a personal reason, for family, this is a good time to move. And also another thing is it's good time to upgrade. In my opinion, it's good time to upsize everything of buying, you know, from condo townhome to a home, single family or condo to townhouse. This is an absolute good time to upgrade your home. Anyways. That's it. If you have any questions, if you guys want to go in discussion um, um, a little bit deeper about this, feel free to reach out to me. And of course, I can provide my uh, my opinion about you know pricing and area and how to get your home ready to sell in this market. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys liked this video. If you have added value, please like it, please share it, and also subscribe to my channel. And of course, comment below. Really appreciate your comments. Always appreciate your opinions. Again, my name is Vincent Lim. I'm with Vancing Experience Real Estate Group, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday.